We just crossed over from Florida to West End Bahama. This is the launching point for what I call shark capital of the world. It's kind of scary to think I'm actually going to be swimming with sharks today. I'm very, very confident that we're going to pull this off without any problems. With animals such as tiger sharks, these large predatory sharks, we haven't yet been able to show these animals in their true light and that there are intelligent, sentient creatures. So we've conceived of this project, we call it Tigris. I'll make love to my I have swum with sharks before, but this is beyond next level. What we're aiming to do here is to be in the midst of what's going on, not to kind of like be chasing at the tail end. So by far the most dangerous, the most intense shoot. Hannah and I have been working with a, a variety of species of animals, from manta rays to whale sharks to various species of whales. And it's been incredibly inspiring and we've created really important stories about conservation. But one of the animals that's sort of been lingering in the back of our minds are the, the predatory sharks, the ones that people fear most. The idea of the project is to take Hannah, who is probably, in my mind, one of the most talented, capable, experienced underwater performers in the world, take her and put her in a position where she can show a human connection, a really close human connection with this 15-foot massive tiger shark. It's easy to connect with a happy dolphin. This is not easy, but it's necessary. In order to pull off a shoot like this, we need to assemble probably one of the most capable teams in the world. And the starting point is Jim Abernathy. Above everything else is safety. This specific shoot that we're on right now uh, with Sean and Hannah has never been done before. Jim Abernathy has been working with these animals for over two decades now. There's nobody in the world that has more time and experience interacting with not only the species, but also these specific animals. Where you might think it's somewhat dangerous, we have a wonderful time interacting with uh, the same sharks week after week. A good day for me is six to nine hours underwater, swimming with these beautiful, majestic creatures that want absolutely nothing to do with me as a food source. These sharks actually appreciate affection and they want to connect with us, so much so that they prefer that over food. I've been in serious prep. Three, three, three. Emotionally, physically, mentally, <laughs> there's, still, there's still the human fear, there's still that pre-programmed media orientation that's just told us this is crazy and, and you're insane. These so-called documentaries that project sharks as monsters that want to eat us, that's not a documentary. That's more like, like Jaws. From talking to Jim, he's, he's really instilled this understanding that the sharks are incredibly sensitive and very intelligent and they can sense everything. Not only is this shoot extremely challenging from a logistics standpoint, the planning, the, the execution, all the things that go into getting us there and actually interacting with these animals safely, respectfully, and also in an exciting way. There's the technical side of the shoot. There'll probably be at least 10 or 12 cameras rolling at any given time. Every little aspect of this shoot we've had to engineer to create exactly what we need to interact with this particular animal. We've come up with lots of different ideas on, on how to get this done with the biggest safety factor. Well, Sean and I were talking about what can I possibly wear that's going to protect me. Number one, safety first. I can't look like a shiny fish. I can't have bright colors. It's a two and a half hour body paint every time we jump in the water. For the most part, the media and even many in the conservation community consider this an extremely dangerous animal and one that should be avoided. Right now, there's no other animal in the history of our planet that has ever been wiped out in such significant numbers as sharks have been in the last 50 years. Whether you like sharks or whether you hate sharks, if you want this planet to continue forward, it's up to all of us. The message of this shoot is not, hey, everybody jump in the water, take off your mask and fins and go hug a tiger shark. 
That would be stupid. It's a large predatory animal that if it made a mistake, there could be devastating consequences. Our message is to actually expose this animal as the sentient, intelligent creature that it is, deserving of protection and respect. This is not for a publicity stunt. If we can inspire other people around the globe to find that connection point with animals like this, then it's all worth it.